I had said that evolution is a fact in the same sense as it's a fact that the Earth orbits the Sun. And somebody wrote in about that saying, it isn't a theory the Earth moves around the Sun, it's a fact we can observe. Evolution is not. But really you can't observe that the Earth moves around the Sun. What you observe is the changing seasons. And you infer that the Earth moves around the Sun because you have an interpretation, you have a theory to account for why you get changing seasons. In the same way, you observe that night follows day and day follows night. You don't actually observe that the Earth is spinning. You have a theory that the Earth is, is spinning and it accounts for the facts. I have likened this to a detective coming on the scene of a crime after the crime's been committed. You can't actually watch the crime being committed, but you can see footprints, you can see fingerprints, you can see all sorts of clues that remain in the room where the murder was committed. And you can put a, forward a hypothesis as to how the murder happened and then check the hypothesis against the facts. And to a greater or lesser extent, the detective can come to a firm conclusion about who the murderer was. And it's just the same way with evolution, except that the number of clues that we have after the crime, so to speak, are enormously more, enormously richer than those that any detective normally is privileged to see.